Would you believe that Starbucks, the coffee giant we all know and love, didn't actually sell brewed coffee at their first store? That's right, they only sold coffee beans. Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to Everyday Motivation, the place where we dive deep into the coolest stories from the world of business and innovation. Today we've got a super exciting episode lined up for you sipping success. The Starbucks story. Now, isn't that a plot twist? It's like discovering your favorite superhero was once just a mere mortal. This unusual beginning took place in 1971 at the iconic Pike Place Market in Seattle. The first Starbucks store was there offering high-quality coffee beans and equipment. The masterminds behind this venture were an English teacher named Jerry Baldwin, a history teacher named Zev Siegel, and a writer named Gordon Bowker. Quite the eclectic trio, wouldn't you say? But here's another twist in our tale. They didn't start serving brewed coffee until 1980. That's nearly a decade of being in the coffee business without actually serving coffee. So the next time you sip your Starbucks coffee, remember it all started with just beans. Now let's fast forward to the 90s. 1995 to be exact. The year when Starbucks changed the coffee game forever with the introduction of the Frappuccino. You see, Starbucks was facing a bit of a pickle. Summer was rolling around and hot coffee sales were taking a nosedive. So they decided to shake things up. They whipped up this chilled, frothy, sweet concoction and named it the Frappuccino. Little did they know that this icy beverage was going to cause a sensation. The Frappuccino quickly became a superstar on the Starbucks menu, contributing significantly to their annual sales. It was like a breath of fresh cold air that expanded their customer base beyond traditional coffee drinkers. Teenagers, adults, even kids with a sweet tooth were drawn to this cool new offering. So what started as a cool idea to boost summer sales ended up revolutionizing the coffee industry. From a single store in Seattle to a global phenomenon, Starbucks has truly taken the world by storm. Now let's rewind a bit to the mid-90s, shall we? Starbucks, with a vision larger than life, embarked on its global journey, setting its first footprint outside of North America in Tokyo. And as they say, the rest is history. Flash forward to today, and you'll find Starbucks on almost every corner of the globe. With a whopping 30,000 stores across 70 countries, Starbucks serves up millions of cups of the good stuff every single day. The secret? A strong brand and consistent quality. A combo that has earned them a spot in the hearts of coffee lovers worldwide. So, whether you're sipping a latte in London or enjoying an espresso in Egypt, you're part of the Starbucks story. Starbucks shows us that with a strong brand and a commitment to quality, the world is your oyster. So, what can we learn from the Starbucks story, you may ask? Well, there are two key takeaways that resonate. First off, never underestimate the power of a good product. Starbucks didn't just start with coffee beans, they started with the best coffee beans they could find. They knew the importance of quality and made no compromises. They understood that the cornerstone of any successful venture is a product or service that people love and trust. Secondly, don't be afraid to innovate. The Frappuccino was a daring move, a cold, sweet, blended coffee beverage. It was unheard of at the time, but it paid off, big time. Starbucks proved that stepping out of the box and trying something new, something different, can make all the difference. So there you have it, the Starbucks story, a tale of beans, frappes, and global domination. Remember, a good product and a dash of innovation can take you a long way.